Hello everyone and welcome to Southport Iron Challenge for Kingdom Rush. This is stage one, the Iron Challenge. You get one super wave, you get one life total, you only get level one max, and you get do not get archers or mages. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you reset this. You do not spend anything in the archers or the mages, and you see what you can get. Um, I will actually... Does this increase his damage? No, let's... We'll, we'll do it this way. And I will get a little bit more life on my militia and deal a little bit more damage because it's really important to deal a lot of damage. Now let's go ahead and straight into Southport and start this mission. Now you do start off with a little bit more money. So what you really want to do here is you want to try to create a kill zone. Um, essentially a kill zone is a location where all of your guys um, will essentially pool together. And by pooling together a little bit more, um, what you can do is you can maximize the area effect damage of um, of the tower. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to try to pool everything together as close or as close as possible, making sure um, that when this tower, this one dwarven tower does attack the splash damage, it does maximize and hit multiple targets as much as possible. So that's why um, I, I guess I didn't keep those guys nearly close enough. So we'll see how much damage my guys can really do. Just continuing to push back this wave after wave and just trying to hold them all right in that position. Now my militia though, they, they do have a limited amount of life. So it's very important to keep the waves going and just try to fight back and this constant, constant pressure and wait. Now remember, you do have one all-important um, fireball to really handle on the, the majority of, um, or just a lot of units when it comes down to it. So, and let's go ahead and set up another tower. I'll set up the rally position over here and continue to, uh, you know, rally in the troops there to try to fend off this attack. So this looks like it is going to be a rather large wave. So let's go ahead and clear out, make some a little bit of breathing room for myself and continue to just let this tower do its work. So, so far, so good. They haven't really gotten past to this one particular set of barracks. And that's really what you want to do. Just and without archer towers, without mage towers, you want to really maximize your damage, and as much as possible. So you can see, um, you can see what's happening over here. Guys are being able to run by, and now this may be a problem for me. So let's see what I can do. Change the rally point down over here as well, and we'll see how much damage I can really get. Do I sell this? Oh no! And I think I messed up. Sell this one. Come on, act quick, act quick. And it looks like I am going to be able to do it just in time using the tower, the dwarven tower here, and selling a couple of those early towers to build later towers in the back. And yep, that's pretty much all there is for stage one, the iron challenge. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hopefully it doesn't get that close for you guys. And stay tuned for the next stages where I believe Honey will be joining me from here on out.